Hey folks, it's Teresa Strengthfield Ridge Farm. Uh, today, I just wanted to let you know about some cleaning products that have come to my attention lately. A couple of them I've done before, but several of them have come to my attention lately uh, because of some uh, cleaning hack videos that I've seen recently. Uh, I started getting some pop-ups saying you might like this type of thing uh, on YouTube and uh, several of them were cleaning hacks and uh, some of them um, are they're cheap they're mostly cheap stuff and uh, they're really good that's why I'm bringing them to your attention because I haven't enjoyed using them uh, they work really well and uh, so I decided to show this video today and show some of them. Uh, not my ideas, like I said, I've been getting some pop-ups on my YouTube of cleaning hack um, videos and one lady does a great job, Andrea Jean uh, does a fantastic job. Most of hers is uh, Dollar Tree hauls and at the same time she shows organizing and cleaning and stuff like that. So I watched a few of her videos and got most of these ideas from her. Uh, and then there was another lady, and I can't remember her channel right now, uh, but n not my ideas, their ideas. And uh, I just kind of started using them and have really enjoyed some of this, so or all of this. So I decided to show you. Uh, so you know that um, we have way back, I have had videos on natural cleaning products the orange peels in vinegar that you let soak for a couple of weeks and then you can use that as a cleaner and that works really well and one of my standbys that i've always used for years that works really well is the baking soda and vinegar so uh i usually use like uh, the clear vinegar the white vinegar but I'm out, so I've got this bottle just to show vinegar. But, uh, but I usually use the clear vinegar for cleaning, the white vinegar. So, um, <clears throat> so there you go. That's one of my old standbys is baking soda and vinegar. Works on all kinds of things. It works well. And then the uh, orange peels, or you could use lemon, lemon peels or lemon. Uh, those things work great. <clears throat> Excuse the dog. Those things work great and, uh, and they're all natural and that's wonderful, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few others that I have picked up on recently that work really well. Um, and uh, so, here we go. Uh, first, I'll just go with what's in front of me. First off, I have used Febreze, uh, especially the pet Febreze, because I obviously have a dog in the house. I also have a cat in the house. So we use Febreze a lot. And uh, I get the pet one, which I don't know that the pet one works any better than any other. So, and it's expensive. These things are uh, somewhere around five or six dollars. Well, new hack <laughs> that I just learned. Uh, you can get Suavel. You could get a name brand, but this is Suavitel. Suavitel that you can get at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 and you just simply take a cap full and put in your old uh, uh, Febreze bottle or whatever bottle you have. You take a cap full of this and a little bit of, vinegar, of um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Put a good splash or two, I'll say a couple of tablespoons of alcohol in there and suave ale, and then fill the rest up with water and it works great it works great i have loved it i love this smell and it has done a really good job it makes my house smell so good i use it sparingly because i don't want to overwhelm our senses or our animals senses and you know animals are very sensitive to smells so don't do it overwhelmingly, just enough to keep a good fresh uh, uh, smell on things like the couch and chair and uh, 
you know, I'll spray a little on the curtains and the, and the shower curtain in the bathroom. And that's about it. Uh, so, Suave, Suavitel is great. Get it at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And that works great. So, there's my first one. Then, uh, this, this is at the Dollar Tree right now. Uh, Suave, Suavitel is always at the Dollar Tree. I've seen that forever at the Dollar Tree, probably at the Dollar Store also. Um, but this is currently at the Dollar Tree, and I don't know how long it'll last. It will go fast because it really works good. It is the off-brand of the uh, um, Scrub Buddy. Um, scrub Buddy Paste. This is an off-brand of the Scrub Buddy Paste. $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Uh, Multi-purpose cleaning paste. And it is a um, um, non-abrasive, but it works really good. I went back and got another one. It works so well, I went back and grabbed me another one. And um, I've used just a little bit of it but it works so good. I really like this. Now, this is not all natural, of course. I, I haven't even looked at the ingredients. She talked about it so well that I decided to go get some, and uh, the first time I went to my Dollar Tree, they didn't have it yet. I went back again a couple of weeks later, and they had it, so that's why I say, I don't know how long it'll be there, but $1.25, and it's really good. Uh, it's got a lot of ingredients I can't pronounce, so this is not all natural. I also picked up a Scrub Buddy. So, this is a little Scrub Buddy. They work great. Uh, there's also a Mrs. Scrub Buddy that I have at my kitchen sink I use. This one is, is tough. This one's hard and tough. When you get it wet, it's a little more pliable, but it works really well to get tough stains off. Uh, like pots and pans and things that, that have tough burnt on stains. This and this together works really good. But this is the off name brand. There is a Scrub Buddy brand. So there's Scrub Buddy. Scrub Buddy paste works great. Not all natural though. So there you go with that. Okay, let's see. What have I got next? Next, this is a cleaner I had made up. Uh, now, I have some more cleaners that I saw after that, but this one I had made up just has a little bit of, um, it has a little bit of Dawn, like I'm going to say a couple of teaspoons of Dawn, um, some vinegar. I don't remember how much vinegar I used in it, but I'm going to say probably maybe a half cup of vinegar couple teaspoons of Dawn, and I think that's it. And then I filled the rest with water. And I just kind of use this as a multi-purpose. Um, so that's my idea there, was just the Dawn and uh, vinegar and the rest water. And so that's just a kind of a multi-purpose light cleaner type thing. Next, this you've probably seen Dawn Power Wash. This Dawn Power Wash is really good. Uh, I keep one by the sink. I've also used it, same thing, in the toilets, the sinks, anywhere. I used this in the refrigerator too, I did. Uh, but it's expensive, five or six dollars for a bottle of this. And this girl had this hack and it works just as good as the original I bought in this bottle. I bought this bottle a while back and it was five or six dollars. And then I saw this hack. And all you gotta do is open up this top. These tops will open up easily because you can refill them. You can buy the refill. But the hack was you take uh, like a half a cup, I think it was about a half a cup of Dawn and uh, half a cup of Dawn, half a cup of alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I don't think she used a half cup, maybe a half cup of Dawn and a quarter cup of rubbing alcohol and, um, and then water. And so that's similar to what I had done here, kind of, 
but um, I was surprised at how well this worked. <laughs> but she used, I believe, a half a cup or so of Dawn. The alcohol was maybe a quarter cup and then the rest water. And this works just as good as what I bought the first time. Now this said lemon scent. And so now it's not lemon scent, but it would be if I added just a little lemon juice in it, uh, would be the same thing. And probably if I added a little lemon juice in this would give it even more power, but it's really good and, um, and works really well. And I really, I like um, uh, spraying my dishes with it too while I'm, while I'm washing dishes. And the alcohol just gives it a, a good antibacterial and, must, and it boosts it, I feel like. Uh, now, I don't always use Dawn because Dawn is expensive anymore. Dawn's getting expensive. I've been using, uh, this is Dawn. I used it Dawn. I had a bottle of Dawn. I used Dawn. But the last time I went to the dollar store, they had these two for $5. And it is a degreaser, Ajax with degreaser, triple action with real citrus extract. And uh, it works really, really good. So the next time I use these things with that I would have done Dawn, I'll probably use this because I have two big bottles of this now. And it was two for $5 at the dollar store. So that was a good deal. And I believe that with the degreaser action, it's probably as good as Dawn, I would say. Dawn's wonderful, we all know that. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I done with this. I refilled this with my own stuff and it works just as good as what I bought the first time. And I love that, I love that stuff. So what you want to do is buy it one time and then keep your bottle and keep refilling it yourself. <clears throat> so, or you could put it in a different type of bottle, but this bottle is uh, foam, makes it foam and uh, it works really good. I love the foam action of that. So that was our alcohol. Uh, this is a multi-purpose cleaner that is actually very powerful too. This is a very strong, powerful one that works really good. And if you put it in this squirt bottle, a squirt bottle or your Dawn bottle or, or one of your uh, dishwashing liquid bottles with this kind of lid, you can take this and squirt it up under the rim of the toilet really well. It works really good. And that's what I've been using this for is up under the rim of the toilet and let that soak in for 10 or 15 minutes and then wash, uh, clean your toilet. Works really good and I haven't used it on a whole, I've just made this, so I haven't used it on a whole lot of things, but uh, I did, I liked the way it would squirt up in there. And this was a hack from this lady, um, this Andrea Jean. And so what this is, is, um, you took the Dawn, take your bowl, put in um, two tablespoons of baking soda, two tablespoons of coarse salt. Um, maybe don't have to be coarse, but if you have coarse, I think it's better. Coarse salt cup, a cup of Dawn, that sounds like a lot, but this is strong. This is stronger and would be more like maybe a Comet, Comet or Ajax um, um, cleaner type thing. That's not the powder, but the you know you can get the liquid Comet or liquid Ajax cleaner type thing. Okay, so a cup of Dawn. Um, a splash or two of your alcohol. The alcohol makes it, uh, like I said, just kind of a disinfectant. And I feel like it gives it a little strength too. But anyway, okay, back to the, back to the recipe. <laughs> a cup of Dawn, uh, say a couple of tablespoons maybe of the alcohol, uh, all this in a bowl and uh, your baking soda, two tablespoons of baking soda, two tablespoons of salt. Mix that up good and pour it in your bottle. And then you can add a little water to fill it up, 
but uh, but I added the I added warm water real slow to fill it up the rest of the way, and then you're gonna lid it and shake it a little bit. I, I had mixed it up in the bowl, and then I used a funnel. I used a funnel to pour it in my bottle. Then I added some water. It didn't take a whole lot more water. And um, so, I tell you what, I may be getting this recipe a little bit off. So, I'm going to put this recipe in the description below. Because I may have this off a little bit of how much alcohol and how much Dawn. So, I will put this recipe in the description below to make sure I get it right. Anyway, this is really, really good. This is a good, strong cleaner. And... Um, and, and I love this. This will probably be one of my favorites. I will use a lot. I might use it with the Ajax next time because I got the Ajax. It's degreaser, it's cheap, you know. So um, any of these are great cleaners and, uh, and smell so good. They all smell good and, uh, and you know, you can just mix up things now. One more thing, one, one more thing. Um, I got these reusable paper towels at the dollar store for a dollar. It came in a pack for a dollar. It was called reusable paper towels or reusable, I believe that's what it said, reusable paper towels. These things are awesome because they are, they are sturdy. This one has been washed in the washing machine a time or two and is still usable and sturdy. And I use these for everything like paper towels. I just wipe up spills. I have used one as a dish rag um, and I still have them all. None of them have fell apart yet. They are actually pretty sturdy and can be, uh, this one's been in the washing machine a couple of times. So these are really, really better than I expected. I bought the pack of them just uh, just thinking I'd try it out. What the heck? Just try it out. So this was at Dollar Store, not Dollar Tree. At the Dollar Store, they had this pack for a uh, dollar, a dollar. And I did not expect it to be as good as as they are, but they are pretty tough. And I have just used them as disposable. Um, kind of, you know, wipe up anything and wash dishes with them. And, and I, I've used it as a hand towel. I threw it over my uh, uh, cabinet door and used it as a hand towel. And, uh, and they have lasted. And I have not thrown any of them away yet. So, uh, way better than I expected there. So, just wanted to show that too. So anyway, you know, uh, like I said, you can use all natural stuff for cleaning and that's great and that works good and is cheap and works good. But uh, if you like a good smell and want something a little stronger, try some of these uh, awesome, awesome products. I really highly recommend this one. It's really good. Um, so just good stuff vinegar, alcohol, baking soda, all that kind of stuff you can clean with, lemon, ju lemon, lemon juice, uh, orange peels, all work wonderful. And the orange is also a good smell. So if you go with the orange peels or the lemon, you still have a good smell. I just wanted to try some of these others and they worked so good. I wanted to pass that information along. So there you go. There's some good cleaning products that I have uh, learned about lately. And, um, you know, you never know when you're going to come across a really good hack on some of these YouTube channels and, uh, and things like that. And we need to pass them along to each other. So there you go. Uh, cheap cleaning products, some natural cleaning products, but some cheap other things. I uh, love my Dawn. I'm gonna try with the Ajax next time, like I said. And uh, so anyway, so there you go. That's all I got. Um, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe.
Hey, do you have any cleaning hack ideas? Leave them in the comments below and let us all know what you use and what your cleaning hacks are.